Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. It is Monday, guys, and it's around 4.45 in the afternoon. Coming on because we're going to make a little dinner. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to use the rest of the chicken that I had from last night. You know, the leftover um, raw chicken. And I'm going to put that on the grill. I'm going to make some the Asian style and some barbecue tonight. So we're going to do that. We're going to have leftover hibachi rice. Um, Frankie's going to have um, something else with his. He has other sides that he wants and stuff. So we're going to have the leftover hibachi rice. I'm just eating a little granola because I literally had a half a hot dog today and I'm starving. I'm just munching on a little granola. Um, so yeah, so let's, so let's get started. Sorry, I have a mouthful. So what I'm going to do is leave some in this bag. I'm not trimming or anything like that. I'm literally not. I'm just putting them in the freaking, on the barbecue. Oh, oh. The, um, the, the barbecue ones, I'm not going to, um, marinate. I'm just going to put those on the grill with season. I'm going to season them. And then I'm going to put the barbecue sauce um, on them as they cook. Uh, that's how I like to do it because I don't want the barbecue sauce burning burning it, even though it does a lot. Yeah. So. so. I'm going to make... Probably more barbecue than Asian. Had a really stressful day, guys. Really, really stressful. And I'll tell you about it. This is going to be a cooking. And I'm just cutting a little bit of the fat off. Cooking and a speaking and a garden kind of vlog. I'm going to show you my garden, show you how it's doing, give an update on that. I lied. I am going to cut some of the fat off. On the fat on the on the chicken thighs, but I don't like it, you know, crazily. I like it a little bit trimmed. So I didn't want to touch it, but I'm touching it, so I'll just have to wash my hands and I have to wash the counter because the chicken is touching the counter at some point. But to me, chicken thighs, that's what makes chicken thighs so juicy and so delicious is the fat that's on them. All right, let's see how many we have in here for the Asian. One. Yeah, at least three for Bill, because that'll be plenty of amount for him. Let me wash my hands. to the Dollar Tree. I wanted to get a pedicure, a little pedicure set because I'm giving myself my own pedicure because I just can't afford to go out and have a, a pedicure right now, which I need desperately for the summer. I always get one pedicure in the beginning of the summer and it usually lasts me basically the whole summer. I can't afford to do that tonight, this time, and you'll, you'll, I just can't. So, I went to the Dollar Tree. And spent six five dollars that I had and bought some stuff to keep my own my own pedicure. And what thank what I'm thankful for guys is now because I've lost 150 pounds, I could reach my feet. 
before, I could have never did that. Never. So that's a plus, I guess. I'm thankful for that. Mm -hmm. Truly, I am. Anyway. Otherwise, these feet are staying in Crocs all summer, and that's the Crocs. They're great. I love them, but they sweat. You know, even though they have the little holes in them, I need to put my feet. I'm one of those people that need to have my feet, nothing on my feet in the summer. If my feet are hot, my whole body is hot. Comment down below if you guys are like that. I am like that. In the summer, even though we have air conditioning in our room, my foot is always sticking out of the blanket. Always. My bare foot. Just the way I am. All right, guys. So I'm going to season this. Like I said, I'm going to put a little bit of age in this and the other one. And then the other one, I'm just going to season. Where is it? I'm going to season. Where is the, um, I didn't finish that. Did I have a voice in? I hope I didn't finish the voice in. Yesterday when I made the, um, when I made the, um, hibachi, I think I used all the hoisin. I think I finished it. Because I don't see it. And I got to show you something else too, guys, in a minute. All right. Watch. Put a little bit of sesame oil in here. Soy. Bill, you want to put the barbecue on? Thank you. As usual, I'm doing all the work. Did I put the fish sauce in? Who? Why don't you put fish sauce Just in? zip it. That doesn't sound very good. You don't know how I cook things. Stop. Fish sauce on chicken? Do you like the taste? Of my food? I know you're putting that one on mine. Uh -huh. Nope, on mine. I put a lot of soy sauce on this, so I'm not going to put any salt in here. I'm going to put a little bit of um, Mrs. Dash, though, because that's the salt, totally salt-free. So I don't want to be putting any salt and salt in there, because the soy sauce is salty enough, guys. You know what I mean? Pepper. Let's do these. Pepper. This is um, fruit and uh, I bought the, I bought the great value one. Love this one. Has little fruits in it. Not much, but yeah. Cooper and Brody both go out with me, right? Mm -hmm. I like to grow. I come back in. Cooper's comes in and Brody stays us. <laughs> yeah. Cooper's All right, here's the onion powder, guys. Okay. I'm going to do the other sides of these, too. Let's get the, the Mrs. Dash. Like I said, I'm not putting any, I'm not putting any Danos on his. We're going to put Danos on ours. Just a little bit. He doesn't need it. All right. 
I'm going to put a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm not going to put olive oil. I don't want to put use my veg olive oil because I only have so much. For I don't know how long. Anyway. All right. marinate five minutes with it. Brody, Brody's here. If he's now. We had to go to Julie's today to pick up some papers that we had to get printed out at her house. So she has a printer. And we were leaving. Bro Bro jumped in the truck and we were like, Julie's like, oh look he wants it. So I'm like, come on. So he's gonna come up for a couple of days and then next week He's actually coming for a week because Julie has a wedding. Julie's um, sister-in-law is getting married in, um, in in Queens, and it's like a it's like a three four day affair. It's like a week affair, really. Um, they're Guyanese and they do things you know differently. So and you know with the way they do them, we were actually invited, but with Bill and everything, we just it's too it's too stressful. It's a very very long day, and he's just not feeling a hundred percent yet, and we just don't feel it. You know, like it's necessary. It, it, so we so we had a decline, but yeah, it's going to be a beautiful Guyanese wedding. Um, uh, I'll show you a picture of Julie's dress after she gets it. You know, Julie's actually the maid of honor and all that. It's beautiful. The dress is beautiful. It's you know, it, it's just gorgeous. So yeah. So anyway, um, Brody's going to be here for about a week. Next week. All right, we're going to get these on the grill. I'm going to bring you out there and show you. All right, so what I do, guys, I went and put all the chicken on the grill. I'm going to show you guys in a few minutes. I, um, I, I, may, I make up a little barbecue sauce that I'm going to brush on to the chicken. So I put some soy, uh, some sweet and sour sauce in here. I'm going to put some barbecue. This is just regular... Sweet Baby Rays. I usually buy the Honey Barbecue, but I didn't this time because this one was on sale. And I said, I'm not going to buy expensive one when this is on sale. So all I do is I do add a little bit of honey to it. Just a little bit. Sometimes brown sugar, but I'm not going to do brown sugar tonight. I'm just going to do a little bit of honey. Honey or brown sugar. And I'm choosing honey. I like a tablespoon. Because that's how we like it. I mean, this barbecue sauce is flavored, but I like to flavor it. So I got onion, garlic, onion. That's just me. I'll do a little bit of Dano's. And we'll do a little Mrs. Dash just to keep the salt ratio out of it. I try to, you know, make little changes. Just making little changes to for myself as well as my husband, of course. Um, there was one other thing I needed to put in here. What was that? What else did I need to put in here? Oh, yes. I want to put, because me and Frankie do like a little bit of the, the spiciness. So the sweet chili sauce, just a little bit. And we use it to, to dip in our chicken as well. Love this. Just a little. It just gives a little something, something. All right, let's mix it up. Mm. That sweet chili sauce is really good. It can be a little spicy, but it's good. If you like spice. If somebody loves you, won't they always love you? I got to set up the um, the tripod out there for when I take you out there and you can see. I want to show you some stuff anyway, so I think I'll wait and then bring you just show you. Let's taste it and see what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. Really nice.
add, people. So here it is. I just poured the rest of the Asian sauce. I turned Billy's over and poured the rest of the Asian sauce on there. Mine right there, I just turned over. And now I'm going to put some of the um, barbecue sauce. We'll start rubbing the barbecue sauce on here. It's gonna be a little awkward because I have to hold this and do this at the same time because I don't have it. You guys, I didn't put you guys on the tripod. So it's gonna be a little bit funky, but it is what it is. Guys, this is gonna be so good. And actually, if I don't use all this barbecue sauce, I'm gonna save it and use it for another chicken, you know, at another time because um, I'm dipping it back and forth. So it has to be used for chicken. I will put it in the refrigerator. I can either cook it too. Like if I put it on like chicken that's um, being cooked in the oven, I can do that. As long as I cook it, because it's obviously there's raw chicken, you know, the chicken isn't fully cooked yet. So that's fine. So Billy, you know, likes his, he has like some gum issues and all that. So his food has to be kind of like on the softer side. So I'm gonna take his and I'm gonna put his on top because I can't have it get burnt because then it's, then it's inedible to him. He really, really can't eat it. He comes to kill him. So he's gotta, um, it's gotta be on the social side. Between you, me, and the lamp post. All right, so let's, um, let's take Bill and I'm just gonna turn them over again. Cause they're fairly thin. Sorry guys, if I'm it's all funky, I'm just trying to do my best here. Um, these two I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave them all for now for just a couple more seconds. And then I will come back and turn these. Oh, see this one's getting a little. A little kiss I'm gonna lower this a little bit. Sorry. Lower this a little bit. I'm gonna lower the whole thing a little bit because I don't want it to get burnt because it tends to, like I said the other day, I made barbecue and it did get a little burnt. That's because, like I said, I was trying to do other things and it got away from me. And you know, if it gets away from you, that's the way it is. Okay, I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take, I'm actually gonna take this one off because it's thinner. And this one off because it's thinner. This is a little bit thicker, so I'll leave that right there. I think that one's gonna. Ah, 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 ah. Drop it. You did drop it, didn't you? <laughs> he don't miss a trick. Cooper doesn't miss a trick. All right, sorry guys. All right, let me take you over to the garden. All right, I don't know. I don't think the garden's doing so great, but it's just my opinion, and I'm I'm a um, pessimist. So my flowers are doing okay; they're hanging in there. I've been watering them more than often because I felt like they were a little bit dry. This is a joke right here. This is not even happening. This is flowers from the Dollar Tree, which this one is from the Dollar Tree as well. So um, you know, I'm I'm happy with that. I just want some color to come. Anyway, the flowers are really my least concern. I love them. Don't get me wrong. All right, guys, I got string beans. Let me show you. I got string beans and tomatoes. I don't know. Let me ask you a question. Courtney or anybody who's an expert or even just knows a lot about gardens, is this a weed? Because I don't know. I don't think that's a plant. I think that's a weed. Okay, please tell me if that's a weed because I need to know because if it is, I need to I need to, to do I need to get rid of it and it doesn't have any buds or anything on it. I don't think, does it? Oh, wait, and is that a bud? No. No, that's not a bud. No, it doesn't have any buds on it. I think it's a weed. These I know are string beans, okay? But those little things, is that weeds? Because I don't know what's a weed and what's not a weed. Please tell me, Courtney, Ellie, somebody who knows. I, I really, really need the help because I don't know what's weeds and what's not weeds. Like that right there, I know, right? Those two on the end there on the back, those are tomato plants. I'm 100% I'm sure of that. Those are, that's a tomato plant right there, that little one right there with the round. But these right here, I think those little things on the ground, on the lower are weeds, right? So I have tomatoes mixed in there, tomato plants mixed in there, and, and I don't know what's a weed and what's not, and I'm afraid to pick them. Please help me. Yeah, so this is what's going on here in this 
this I got string beans I got um what's that beans yeah beans and, and uh cherry tomatoes coming up and uh, those are regular regular big large tomatoes I think I know I know I know for a fact because the signs over there um and all of that so this is what we got going on that's a close-up so and like I said I'm just gonna take you back over to the barbecue so I can switch that over um, like I said, I am a plant person. Like when we, when we do our plants, we always do the plants, the tomato plants. Uh, that's what, more than anything, um, the, the, the tomato plants we do. All right, this I'm going to take off and put up here because I don't want it to cook anymore. Um, you know, and, uh, it's just different for me to do the seeds and I'm very impatient. So I, when I go over there and look at my tomato plant, which I'm going to show you in a minute, to me, it looks like it's doing well. Um, those are the plants that I, I actually put three tomato plants plants themselves, not the seeds. I'll show you in the back, in the back um, with the tires. I'll show you and with the other planters that's back there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more in here. I'm probably not even gonna have any left of the barbecue sauce because we love it and I, and I load it on. I'm not gonna shut this so nothing burns. What are you doing, buddy? Let me show you Brody, guys. He's so freaking cute. Oh, he just left. He was rolling. I'm sorry. He was rolling around on the on the leaves and the bugs. He loves to do. I'm just going to use it. All right. And let this cook. A couple more minutes. I'm going to higher the flame just a little bit. All right. I'm going to come back to this. Right, let's walk you over. Now, give me it. I'm moving with it, so. All right, here on this little table, this is extra dirt that I'm gonna plant something in. I'm not sure yet, I have it here. I haven't done anything with it yet. This is the Dollar Tree flowers. Like I said, they're all, those are coming up. No colors yet, I'm waiting. This is um, um, chives, which are not, oh no, no, scallions. Yes, scallions, they're not really producing. I have little things there, but that's about it. Peppers, yes, they're doing okay, slow. I would think they would be more, but that's what they are, so I guess that's what it is. My, my, um, these were um, parsley plants that I put in here, two or three parsley plants. They're, they're coming up. I see they're coming up, but they look a little unhealthy. I've been watering them, taking all the yellow little pieces off, and that's not, am, am I supposed to do that? If I take the yellow pieces off, got Courtney and guys, whoever, please, because I'm, um, I don't know. I, I think they're dead, so I'm taking them off. I mean, while they're, I think they're parsley. Anyway, the basil's coming up from seeds. Those are doing pretty okay. So, yeah. It's slow. To me, that's slow. But I don't know. I'm not really, you know, I'm not really sure. Okay, back here, guys. The squash and the, I have zucchini and squash in the same tire. So let's see what happens. It came up very quick, and it's really doing well. I'm very happy about that one. The, in the back there is cucumbers. I'm thrilled about those. Hopefully they will grow up along a fence like they, because they say, I, I researched it and it said that they grow up a, a, a fence or, or a whatever. So hopefully they will, um, they will do that. But yeah, they seem to be doing pretty good. Um, the tomato plant right here, we have to, we have those um, things in the, in the basement. Billy's got to put them in, you know, to keep the tomatoes in. You know, that little uh, thing that goes on them. And so th that, this one's doing okay. I feel like it's always dry. I water it a lot. Tell me, please, can I, do I, do I, oh, do I, will I overwater? If I water this tomato plant every day, if it doesn't rain, is that overwatering? Please, please answer me. <laughs> Somebody in the space. <laughs> Carrots, they're coming up a little bit. I'm happy about that. Those right there are cantaloupe. I was very excited. I didn't think the cantaloupe would come up. Who knows what's going to happen with that. Um, pep, um, string beans in the back there. Those are okay. The bugs are getting to them. I don't know what to do about that. And like I said, those are uh, right in the back there are cucumbers. So very excited, guys. Tomato plants, um, zucchini squash, cucumbers, carrots, um, cantaloupe, and string beans. So we'll see. I think those are yellow beans. No, these. I think those are green. The yellow ones are in the back. In the, in the other thing. All right, I'm gonna go take that chicken off. It's definitely done. You see, guys, is that, those little those little things on the bottom, they're weeds, right? 
And then I got some little plants in between it, so I'm afraid to rip the plants out. Ah, okay. All right. Pretty flowers. They're, they're doing okay. They're doing good. I like to see some flowers. All right, let's get these um, chickens off. Let me go get a plate, and I will show you um, when it's all done. All right, guys, I cut up a little bit of zucchini, and I had left over. Really? Left over here, yeah, but you hit my stomach. Little carrots that I put in with it, and a little garlic and salt, and you know, dash, whatever. All of it. Um, so the I just wanted to do a little saute of vegetables. I'm gonna have, I don't think I'm gonna have any rice. I might have a tiny little bit, but I, I really don't want rice tonight. There's the um, the Asian one, and here's the barbecue. Yum. So I'll we're gonna get our dishes, and I will be back with this. All right, guys. Here is my dinner. So excited. I'm either gonna come back or I'm gonna say goodbye now. I might come back and talk about what happened today and our whole, you know, just what's going on in our life. If I don't come back and you just see the end of this, thank you guys for watching. Love yous all. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one. Hopefully I'll be back in a sec though. Love you, bye.